Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel, and today we are going to be uh, rooting the newest uh, factory image for the Razer Phone 2. So this phone is, or this uh, video is kind of sponsored by uh, my boss where I work called Geoga iPhone Repair. If you join my Discord, I post the interesting and more kind of like high end or weirder stuff we get. Um, I post it there in a like TechX sales section, and it usually links over to Swappa, or soon it'll also be eBay. Um, keep in mind, shipping overseas is very good for us um, because we are just starting out. Granted, we have a lot of inventory, but you know, get in contact with me if there's any kind of phone or computer component or something like that that you are looking for. Uh, we have access to some pretty crazy good deals through our part supplier and our phone supplier. Um, to give you a heads up on uh, how nice my boss is for letting me do these videos and stuff like that, he lets me just bring these things home, do the video, and bring it back. To the next. Uh, Giaga iPhone Repair is the name of the shop. Really cool place to work. It's basically a bunch of friends. We're just fixing phones, fixing computers, uh, and flipping them. And we buy them broken or as returned, uh, return to sender pallets, basically, and repair them and resell them it's a ton of fun so you know if you want a really good deal my boss gave me this razor phone for 50 bucks that should tell you how good of a deal we're getting <laughs> now granted you won't get it for 50 bucks but um he let me sell one of them to a friend of mine today and he only wanted uh he told me just ask 150 for it and to give you an idea of how good of a deal that is it was unlocked 150 bucks is all he charged my friend for it. As you can see on Swappa, the cheapest one is 210. On eBay, I believe the cheapest one is probably going to be somewhere around 190 because uh, eBay is sometimes cheaper than Swappa. So, you know, that's the kind of deals I can give you guys. I know we have a OnePlus 8 Pro at work for sale that we're trying to sell that's unlocked if anybody's looking for one of those, but. I'm talking enough about work. I could go on all day about work because it's a ton of fun and I'm enjoying life doing this kind of stuff. But let's get started. Um, so I already have this phone unlocked and everything, but, and I know this angle is weird. I don't have a better way to um, <laughs> do my camera. I don't have a better way to do my camera for these videos yet. I am working on it. I promise I'm working on it. I am going to get a better way soon. Uh, this actually, I might have a better way right now. Give me one second. I can pause this. This ain't the best solution, but it's what I'm rolling with. So <laughs> I had to look up how to rotate the damn webcam. Um, I forgot. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to root and ROM this thing on the newest factory image. So the first thing you need to do is download ADB and Fastboot, which you can find on XDA Developers. Um, I have a whole video on the best way to install that somewhere on my channel. I'll see if I can find it. Um, if I don't find it, it's very easy. Just search ADB installer, uh, ADB one-click installer, and you'll find it on XDA Developers. Then from there, you need the actual factory image. So you need to also know which device you specifically have. Um, this is the official Razer website for downloading the firmware images. The one that I have is a global unlock, a uh, global unlock device, so I can do literally whatever I want with it. It's not a C CKH, not an AT&T, it's not one of these, uh, it's not a Razer Phone 1, it's a Razer Phone 2. So, the one that I will want, at least at this moment, but this should work for every version after this video, um, is the MR6, because that's gonna be the newest one, November 2020. They, I thought, had like a beta testing way that you could test newer ones, but I don't know how to get them anymore. So, newest, newest file you're gonna have is the MR6 right here with this build number. So you're going to want to download that. It's a zip file. You're going to want to extract it to a folder, as you can see here. And you're also going to need a few other things. So you're going to need a Magisk Manager, which you can find at github.com slash topjoenwu. 
slash magics slash releases. And you can get the manager right here. You want the APK, whatever the newest one is at the time of you watching this, download the newest one. And you're going to be installing that on your phone. So first, let's start with unlocking the bootloader because that's the most important step. So what you need to do to unlock the bootloader, see what I'm doing first of all. Um, oh, this is how my videos are. So as you can see, I already have this phone set up. It is already rooted and everything, but I'm doing it for the sake of the video. Um, you want to unlock the bootloader by going into settings, scrolling down to system, and go into about phone. And you're going to want to tap build number over and over again until you get developer option. And then from there, you want to enable OEM unlocking, which is right here. Um, enable OEM unlocking, and what does help is USB debugging. And from there, you're going to want to restart the phone. So power it off. And hold volume up and power. This is the easiest way that I've found. I know you can do volume down and power, but this is more universal. So volume up and power. I have this screen because my bootloader is unlocked. You'll get this screen every time you power up the device here on out once you unlock the boot. Once you're in the recovery screen, you want to go to reboot to bootloader. And I'm now in the bootloader. So as you can see, I am already unlocked and everything. Um, so I don't really actually have to do a lot of these steps. But for your case, I'll at least tell you the steps. So plug it into your computer. Make sure you have the drivers installed. What you need to do to actually get your computer to recognize it in fast boot mode is kind of stupid. Installation and links to drivers. So it's not your normal driver installation where you download an EXE there. To actually install drivers, you want to actually open up this PDF from that page that I showed you and scroll down and watch the device manager stuff. So what you can do is just search device manager and it'll pop up and you'll have a device like this. So actually I haven't done it on this computer yet. I didn't realize that. Um, you want to update driver, browse computer. Let me select from a list, Android device, next, and click Google Inc and go bootloader interface. Hit next, yes, close, and now my computer will recognize, if I open command prompt, my computer will recognize if I go fast boot devices. As you can see, I am now recognized by my computer and able to unlock my device. So for me to actually unlock the bootloader, if you haven't done it already, you need to do fast boot, flashing, unlock, critical, do that one first, hit enter, it'll pop up a prompt on your screen. You'll be able to uh, tell it, hey, guess what? Yes, I want to unlock my bootloader. And then it will uh, erase your entire device. So don't do this unless you want all your stuff erased. From there, once it reboots, turn it off, turn it back on again in bootloader mode. And you want to do fast boot flashing unlock. There's two different types of partitions for different parts of the operating system that are installed. And you actually have to. Uh, basically tell it to unlock twice because it doesn't unlock everything with one command. But once both are unlocked, uh, you will see on your screen it says um, device state unlocked, uh, unlock bootloader unlocked at the top. And from there, with your extracted zip file, you want to do this flash all. So I'm actually going to edit this slightly. I don't have a printer. Why is it asking me about it? I accidentally hit print. I probably did. So in here, I don't want it to actually erase my device. I just want it to update. And I believe there is a fast boot erase. Yeah, fast boot erase um, user data. So I'm going to actually cut that out so it doesn't erase my entire device. You can do that too if you don't want it to erase everything when you do this. I still have stuff on this phone. That's why I don't want to erase everything. So then just click your flash all. It'll go through, flash everything. It's actually pretty fast. 
This is a new command for me. I did not know about this. This is going to be incredibly useful for some kids that I have. And it's going to flash everything. It takes not actually as long as you think. Um, and I know I'm going to have people in my comment section asking about custom ROMs for this phone, possibly, uh, or anybody that's actually interested in this specifically. Um, custom ROMs for this phone, there's only one or two that are specific to this phone. So if you go to XDA, which is the leading place you should go for anything, um, anything phones. Let me go. So... Eraser phone two search and you want to click device. There's only two or three ROMs for this phone. There's uh, this graphene OS on Android Pie, and I think I saw another one, but I don't remember. Actually, no, I think that is the only one. And then there is TWRP, but um, I'm not going to show how to install that because so. Right now, as you can see, that's really the only ROM. You can use GSI files. So, GSI ROMs, Google. So, generic system images. Called. You can use these to... You know what would probably be smart? Phone's not in the way. Ooh. So, anyway, you can use GSI ROMs on your Razer phone if you really want to. Um, there are there is a post somewhere on XDA going over uh, these types of devices, but there's some issues like maybe the camera doesn't work or you, like that. So you can try to do these um, and just see what happens. Any phone that came with Android 8 from the factory is able to do GSI ROMs. So you want to see what you can download. They are in here somewhere. The releases is what you want. So you have to basically know which device you have. This one is going to be ARM64, so you want to download this. That's going to be Android 11, which I don't use this phone anymore. I might test that, make another video on it, and see what it's like. Um, eh, I don't know. I'll try it later. The ones that I would trust would be anything that's Android 9 based. So if you go GSI Android 9, um, there should be some custom ROMs. There's a list. Here it is. So, uh, Fushin is going to be your best bet for things that work. It's going to be AOSP and that's probably your best bet to use. There's Lineage as well, there's Bliss ROMs, Havoc ROM, and if you scroll down, there's Android 9 stuff, Android. and 8 is as low as it's going to go, um, because GSI didn't exist before Android 8. So, as you can see, we have all these options for ROMs, and maybe what I'll do is I'll do a stream where I just test all a whole bunch of these, and then I'll make a report on XDA of which ones were good, which ones weren't, what functioned, what didn't. There's a whole bunch of options. I really do want to try the Android 11. Pre-release latest. I kind of want to try this. ARM64 with gas. Oh man, what a pain in the butt. I don't really feel like trying this actually. <laughs> it's gonna be so weird. Yeah, so you can download their stuff as well. There's user debug stuff, test stuff. Uh, just figure out what you want. I mean, there's Android 11 right here. ARM64, ARM64, e, ARM64. Um, this phone, I believe, would use ARM64 AB. I th believe it does have slots. Just let me download it. I download it.
There's a way in here to download it. Anyway, that's not on the scope of this. That's just talking about it while it was. So it is flashed. Everything's done. Um, let me put the webcam back up. Because what you're going to want to do now is you need your boot.img and you need a uh, magisk you already have here. So what you're going to want to do is on your phone, allow it because I did already have to build. But what you want to do is you want to go to, so at the moment, my device is actually not rooted anymore. Um, as you can see, I'm still plugged into the computer because I need to be. You want to go all the way down to system, about phone, tap that build number again, and lock it. Go to developer options. You uh, OEM unlocking is already enabled, obviously. And you want to enable USB debugging. So once USB de uh, debugging is enabled and you have all that crap, ignore my ugly wires, I know. Um, you can actually use the command prompt again. So your phone is still plugged in. Go ADB install Magisk Manager. I believe I already have it installed since I didn't erase the phone. And then ADB push. Actually, it might already be on. So what we need as well is boot.img. So copy that. And oh yeah, I need to tell it. Um, <coughs> connected for file transfer. Got it. So now it's connected as a file transfer. As you can see, there is a boot already on here, but that is the wrong one. Um, I need to delete the one in the downloads. Oh, maybe it's not in here anymore. Anyway, so you don't want anything in there either, but paste your new boot image. And what you're going to want to do, your device. On your device. You want to go and find the magic. Scroll through. Magisk man. You want to select that, and at the top there's install, which I bet I can go to install at the top, tap it, reserve that, yes. Yeah. Next, select a file and patch it, and then up at the top here, you want to uh, enable show hidden storage, and then you want to view hidden, uh, view internal storage. Select that boot image. God, this camera is terrible. This is what I get for using it. Then hit let's go. It's going to patch it by itself. And repacking boot image. Done. So what you want to do now is pull it off your phone. You want to get it off your phone. It's usually in the downloads folder. I believe it's named patched. It might be named Ma Magisk patched file. Oh, why is it zero bytes? Hold on, let me unplug replug for my phone. It should not be a zero byte file. Luckily, I do have a back backup. Leave it here. There we go. So you want to get this off your phone. Copy it. Um, paste it wherever you keep your crap for phones. And then what you want to do is you can have it at the ready. Fast boot. I'll do ADB reboot bootloader. I'm going to find a systems. I need to have the wire for the camera going under my desk to the computer instead of. Um, and now that you're in the bootloader, go fast boot, flash boot. 
and then hit enter. It'll auto select which one. If you have an issue with this failing, do fast boot flash raw boot A. Or to figure out what slot you're on, you can do fast boot get var uh, current slot. And as you can see, I'm on slot A. So you would know that for a fact you are on slot A. Do fast boot flash raw boot A and then boot image. Or if you're on slot B, there you go. So that's all it takes to root your device. You can now uh, reboot it with fast boot reboot. And it will reboot into the system. You're all rooted and ready to go. And you can cheat on Pokemon Go or hack some games with Game Guardian or do whatever you do with your rooted device. Uh, maybe in a future video, like I said, I'll use this as a test dummy. We'll do some testing of those GSI ROMs. Definitely going to down Flash it to my device because I want to see what this thing runs like with Android. So, this phone's awesome, having this phone. Uh, not as much as I like my essential phones, but still a great phone. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.